Hi everybody, Melissa Klein here, and I am uh, just going to show you a little bit, a cool little tip that I picked up off the internet, and it's about how to restore frayed brushes. And I'm really hard on brushes. Uh, these are pretty much all liner brushes, although I'm going to be showing you some other ones uh, a little bit later. And as you can see, you know, they're more or less frayed. Now some of them, like this one, actually if I add water, I can work with. Same with this one but you can definitely see that they are not so pointed. I would actually rather have a larger brush that comes to a finer point that uh, than a smaller brush with that is not does not have a good point. Uh, I can get better results that I find. Um, and sometimes I'll see these teeny weeny, weeny little brushes and I look at their points and I know, because I've tried, that it just doesn't work. Whereas I find like something like this, you know. So all I'm doing is, this is ordinary dish soap. Uh, I happen to be using Dawn uh, because <laughs> it just is really kind of industrial. I find as I talk to paint professionals, Dawn dish soap comes up and when I worked in a foundry. Now this one, you can see there's a little bit of like the that hair just doesn't want to go. So I just kind of keep working it. I'm going to see how it goes. I might wind up just kind of pulling that off or, you know, with a pair of tweezers or uh, clipping it off. Um, but I'm also stubborn, so I'm just going to see too. Um, see what happens. I might, I might, that one might actually take two sessions with the red. Um, and I'm sort of twisting it a little bit. Now here I'm starting, I'm like, oh, I still got some dish soap. I'm going to try some bigger things. Uh, this is actually a sable brush, uh, and sable, you would think I would love it. It's sort of, you know, it's really expensive. I forget. I think this came as part of a kit or something. And I'm just, I just find that sable doesn't work that gr great for me. Um, one of the things I'm, uh, it, it doesn't and it doesn't wear I actually prefer more the uh, synthetic brushes to the sable and there um, I'm like well why not why not try with some of these like this really the a couple of these really cheap brushes that I have this is also sable it's by Blick it's scholastic um, and scholastic Blick scholastic is the one that I really love their liner brushes uh, actually they're called script brushes and here's a super cheap just you know one inch or one and a half inch flat brush um, that just had this weird like schmutzy thing because it's kind of cheap. It's not bad, but you know, and it's also probably rode around in a bin or something and got frayed. And this is another one that I'm like, it probably came as part of a kit that I would not normally buy, but um, these things have an odd way of coming in handy. So just going through working it with my, my fingers and just kind of, you know, making it all stick there. I'm going to let it dry overnight and there will be a second <laughs> session of that. Thanks so much for watching.